I'm back, bitches. And I don't wanna hear, I'm acting different. I'm not looking to create one of those masterpieces that literally looks insane and it's like splash art and it's like, Riot Games, hire me right now. I'm not looking for that. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. A couple years ago for Christmas, I got this gifted to me. Beautiful, awesome, cute little tablet. Super cute, super cute, super awesome, super awesome. I am a traditional artist and I used to draw digitally, but it never took off, you know what I mean? Like it never, like I never got that spark, you know, like that that some people have. So that's essentially what we're gonna be doing in this video. We're going to be experimenting and trying to refine our skills on a medium that I'm actually really terrified to use. They're just really skilled and awesome and it's literally like, please marry me. I need to explain why I can't just on the tablet and make it look sick as fully sick bro, like times a million, amazing. Because the thing that I'm worried about is that I love texture. I love texture so much. For the past two years, Year 11 and year 12, my art teacher, Miss, I'm just gonna say Miss B, okay, Miss B, which by the way, she looks exactly like Gretchen Wieners. Like, exactly like Gretchen Wieners. She looks like if Becca and Gretchen Wieners had a kid, that would be her. She told me how to love texture, how to love the brush strokes, how to love the little lines, how to love like the layers, when you can see a master's artwork and it has that little part that is just like, you can still see the sketch and then the rest of it is like filled with like texture and if you look, then like you can see the little like ridges and bumps and lumps and green eggs in him. When you can see that stuff, to love it, to cherish it, because it just strengthens the meaning guys. It strengthens the meaning, the medium, it strengthens the culture and it just makes sense. It makes sense. Makes sense. So that's essentially what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to be trying digital art. Um, I just realized that I got paint, like oil paint, all over my mic. And that's like pigment and oil, so that's never coming out. First, we got to come up with sketches. We got to figure out what vibe we want, because with digital art, it's so much harder to figure out your vibe. You know, like, at least with traditional art, it's like the way that you paint. The vibe just inserts itself somewhere, like in the crevice. And then with this, you can literally make it look like whatever you want. You can literally make it look like whatever you want. Let's go. Because there's so much more leniency, so... I'm actually really excited. First, I want to make some compositional concepts to just get my head around it and to figure out what I want to do, you know. I'm just going to get a loose piece of paper because then at least that way, my brain won't shy from doing any ideas because if I do it on the sketchbook, then my brain's going to be like, damn, you have to be perfect. This beautiful, beautiful Sharpe that I took from school. Thank you. Thank you, Miss, Miss Teacher, for not... First we have to figure out what shape, okay? Do I want like a square? I think this one would be kind of creepy if like you just open your phone and then it's just like staring at you. Okay, I think I found out the one that I want to do. I think now it's time to take our little designs and do them in digital art. By the way, I'm going to be using Clip Studio. Yeah, I definitely like this one. I think it's nice because then it will segregate it from the rest of the background because I do want some of the background to be blank to play with the white space, but it won't be white space. I think I want to be like a light. I will say though that I did watch a video on how to make the coloring process easier and they said to do it in monochrome black and white first to figure out the shapes and make it look as good as possible and then put in the colors afterwards but before I get started on the digital art I I simply have to make a mood board and then we can actually get to the drawing part because I'm not gonna just go balls deep into this no that's crazy I have my phone and we're gonna look on Pinterest for things. And so then she made a mood board 
And on a separate one, he started the sketch. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, welcome back. So I ended up changing the composition to make it a bit more interesting and also easier because I think with the initial one, the reason why I was struggling so much was because it was a bit difficult to articulate. I mean, again, I'm just learning. So why would I go in with a really difficult sketch? But as you can see, I changed the colors. I initially started with the bright one, but it wasn't really working out for me. So then I was thinking maybe this is like oil paint. So I started in with really dark tones and then I put in the light, as you can see now. I did the hair a white, although I do end up changing that later. I only did that so then it kind of gives me something to work with so then I can focus on the skin. I don't know if that, yeah, there you go, I changed it. But I don't know if a anyone else is like that. I don't know, um, people that can just segregate certain areas and refine it to its like perfect thing. I don't know how you do that, do not know. But I'm playing around with different brushes and actually found out uh, lasso and airbrush best friends best friends yeah so essentially i'm just going in i'm changing the colors making sure that the values work and also adjusting the proportions as as to the reference picture because you'll notice that this doesn't really look like anyone it doesn't really look like anyone it kind of resembles someone actually it looks like someone i used to go to school with so shout out to you chelsea um you always made me laugh in art class so that's fun i was also struggling with the ear as you can see i had a sketch over it and making it visible making it not visible making sure that i'm still following my initial idea but not focusing on sticking to that idea because i think obviously as artists throughout our piece we're going to be improving so it's just important to keep your mind open and open to changes so that's why i kept it there but I was really struggling with the ear. I think it was so difficult. Is it kind of lacks control? I, at least I don't have control when I do it. I don't have control, but every time that I do traditional work, then I don't have that. Welcome to the exciting world. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay. Is that better? I think I'm on hour four or five. I want to say like hour five on the piece and it's getting to me like it really is like i'm like damn i don't want to actually that's a lie i do want to do it and i want to continue to do it but it's getting to a point where i don't really know what to do you know what i mean like i'm like trying and it's not working so i'm just doing the same thing over and over again and that's not how you render you got to refine it you can't just like like Control C, Control V, if you know what I mean. So now I am outside in the wilderness um, with a lake behind me because it's freaking awesome. They're literally all just flying over, okay? Okay. I love how every time that I bring my sketchbook here, I'm always like, yeah, I want to draw. I'm not going to draw. I'm not. I'm not going to draw. I'm not going to draw. Why would I draw? This is your sign that if you're working on a piece, take a break, guys. Take a break. Back home. We're going back home because people were there. So I was like, no, thank you. So I'm leaving. Peace. Okay. Was it some random guy was like, hey, and I was like, what the frick? <laughs> but at least he was nice. Thing that I do remember from the last one that we did, the little drawing on the little tablet, was that I was struggling with the ears. But I just really quickly whipped up a little, a little dumb little sketch. Okay, maybe if I draw it on paper and like I draw the ear, then maybe when I draw on there, then it'll kind of make sense. I don't know. I'm gonna keep the reference picture and fingers crossed it works. But I did want to check out where I left off because I haven't seen it since. Oh, okay. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. Okay. See, like, it's not that bad. 
it's not the, like we can deal with this. We can we can we can deal with this. Here's like here's what I'm thinking. I think this needs to be brighter because there's no way that this can be that dark and then that's just like a really transitional shade. If I bring you closer here, do you see how there's like a straight line? That's because I literally just lassoed it. And then I got the airbrush and blah, 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 blah. And I honestly really like that. I think it's really awesome. Um, I'm also in love with how the eyes are turning out. I think it's like really nice how I'm doing the texture and how I'm just doing the brush strokes. That one was Sam Dossart's. Like, I think it's working. I think it's working. And I guess we'll check out in like six hours when I finish it because I actually want it to look good. Like, you all don't understand. I have no digital pieces that I can actually show people. Like, none. None, 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 okay? So, I want this one to be one that I can, like, print off, put it on my wall, and just, like, chill, you know what I mean? Because, like, all the other ones, I literally either give up or I trash it because it doesn't look good, okay? But we're gonna change that. Welcome back! Okay, so, as you can see on the top left corner, I have colours to make my little process a bit more easier, but I am overusing well not overusing but i'm definitely using it to the max of its ability um is the lasso and the airbrush i uh there is something about it that just makes me so happy like to have such um con like okay i think i found that level of control to have such control over um like the blending and stuff like that i think it's so so nice but yeah I'm going in, I'm refining different aspects, like for example, I'll refine the eyes, and then I'll refine the nose, and then I'll refine whatever, but right now, I'm working on the shadow, I am, like, noticing, or at least I do remember that, um, the light slash angle, no, <laughs> the, um, the way slash angle, like the direction slash angle of the light has to be completely co um, contrast the direction of the shadows. Like if it's horizontal, then vertical, because I don't know, it just makes it a bit more um, easier to see. But I'm doing the hair, I wanted it to be black, and from my knowledge, I do remember that black hair isn't simply black, it's a, um, it's a deep build up of different colors. So I wanted to try play around with that. Um, and yeah, I'm just fixing the hair. Well, not fixing it because I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm just doing the hair. Maybe this is probably better for next time, but I should probably work on getting an actual reference. A reference that I can follow through to the very end. I don't really have a reference that I'm looking at. I'm just, um, I have a couple of, like, pictures that I really like and I'm just taking aspects from it. So maybe next time I'll focus deeper into a reference. But yeah, I'm doing the jewelry, playing around with the color dodge, the glow, the everything. I love the layers. I love it. I love it. Um, I'm trying to make it a bit more saturated and less muddy because that's also something that I need help with. I keep failing. Um, but I think I'm getting better at the saturation and the color values and whatnot. So that is one thing that I definitely learned throughout this piece. And yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where the light is coming from. But I'm still kind of struggling, so I think I need to spend a bit of my time refining this piece and we'll check back at a point where I do not hate it and I think it is ready to be shown. So we'll come back and we'll see. Okay, so I spent a bit of time on it, just going over it, refining it a bit. Without further ado, here's the piece. Loud clap. Oh. You know what? YOLO. We're just gonna YOLO up because, yeah. Last night I had a dream that I had a blood nose. We'll see if that comes true. Okay, guys, we'll see if it comes true. This is literally, this is literally gonna be the digital renaissance of Alex, the artist. Because it was so much fun, I literally wanna do it 24 7. Speaking of that, I'm literally gonna do some oil painting exercises. Yes. 